Hello everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers part of programming of API series. In this video, we're going to see how RPG policy works. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and RPG platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need an RPG Edge account. You can register at rpg.com slash edge. You also need basics of RPG API proxy. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's talk about API policy. You know that RPG Edge sits in between the client and the target server, where the API flows through RPG Edge when we create an API proxy. We attach policy to one of the proxy endpoint or target endpoint in particular flow. I'm sure you are familiar with this code in JavaScript where the dot join function does a specific functionality where it takes an array and joins by the joining element. Similarly, RPG has out of the box functions that we call as policies using which you can do API management. The policy is a combination of an XML that provides specific functionality. RPG has around 30 plus policies which does traffic management, security, and mediation. RPG also has custom extension policies where using which you can write custom code and implement your logic. RPG has JavaScript, Java, and Python support where you can write custom code and do API programming. Let's take a look at RPG policy in action. Login as our Grimmin into our RPG Edge account. Once you are logged in, click on Develop and click on API Proxies to create an API proxy to see policy in action. Click on the Add Proxy button. I'm going to use Reverse Proxy Proxy Type and give the proxy name as policy demo and use the backend server as mock target.apg.net. Click on next, choose the authorization as a pass through. Choose the defaults. Like we have seen in earlier four minute videos, we're going to attach policies to one of the flow in a proxy endpoint or target endpoint. Let's see quota policy using which you can do traffic management and apply quota restrictions. I'm going to attach the quota policy to the proxy endpoint preflow. Click on the preflow. Click on plus step on top of a request. We want to do quota restriction whenever an API request comes in. Choose the quota. As you can see, there are multiple policies. There are around 30 plus policies that are divided into traffic management, security, mediation, and then extension policies using which you can write custom code. Select the quota policy, click on add. As you can see, every policy in RPG is a combination of XML elements and attributes using which you can configure the policy as per your requirement. Let's enforce two requests per minute on our API. I'm gonna remove the type calendar from the proxy, from the policy, and uh, change the time unit to minute and change the synchronous to true, distributed to true. We do this uh, to sync the counter across the message processes. You can read more about the policy in, about the proxy in the RPG documentation. Search RPG quota policy using Google to access the documentation. You can, you can read about uh, uh, every uh, policy element and attribute and what it does in the RPG documentation. Enforce allow count to two and interval to one. Save the proxy to see quota policy in action. Use the trace, start traceation. Let's quickly make some calls and see the policy in action. I made a first call 200, second call 200. And when I do the third one, it's 500 because we enforce the restrictions to call per minute. So that's how the policy works in RPG Edge. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.rpg.com. Thank you for watching this video.